regulations for an important fish in the Chesapeake Bay. A regional commission has set new catch limits on Manhattan. Yeah, it's a small fish, but a huge part of the bay's ecosystem. Investigative reporter Chris Horn has more on some very different reactions to these rules. Yeah, Stephanie and Brandy, Manhattan is also the raw material for Omega Protein, a company that's been around since Civil War days on the Chesapeake mm. Bay, provides hundreds of local jobs. And it's food for other fish and wildlife. For example, when Menhaden populations are healthy, so are striped bass and other larger fish. The new rules have increased the Menhaden harvest along the entire East Coast, but have done just the opposite for Omega's haul on the Chesapeake Bay. Every day, Omega Protein turns tons of Menhaden into fish oil, fish meal, and other products. As we showed you in our investigation, Controversial Catch, two years ago, Omega is the last major company of its kind on the Atlantic coast and has been operating in Reedville since the mid-1800s. So you might think they'd be happy that the Atlantic State's Marine Fisheries Commission has raised the total allowable catch of Menhaden from Maine to Florida by 8%. They're not. That's because at the same time, the commission cut the amount the company can catch from the Chesapeake Bay by about 40%. Omega spokesman Ben Landry calls that measure punitive, unfair, 100% political, and not based on science. Meanwhile, the Chesapeake Bay Foundation sees the cap on the Menhaden Hall in the Bay differently. We simply updated that regulation um, to the average of the last five years catch, which will ensure that more Menhaden stay in the water in the future. Chris Moore is a scientist with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. He says Menhaden are an important part of the food chain eaten by larger fish, mammals, and birds. They're also a key bait fish for crabbers and fishermen. Moore says while Menhaden populations along the entire eastern seaboard are generally healthy, the bay is a different story. Still some concerns about how many fish we have in Chesapeake Bay. The number of small fish, especially in the Chesapeake Bay, um, has not been high for the last 20 years. Omega also takes issue with how the Marine Fisheries Commission has allocated the annual Menhaden harvest. Every Atlantic state now has a piece of the action even if they don't have a Menhaden industry like New York and Pennsylvania. Omega says that takes away from Virginia's allotment. And Menhaden is the only species of fish that is regulated by the General Assembly of Virginia. Well, State Senator Richard Stewart grew up in the Northern Neck and he is the governor's appointee on the Marine Fisheries Commission. He says he's disappointed with the new rules adopted this week. Stewart told me this afternoon, though, he'll work with Governor-elect Ralph Northam to devise a Menhaden strategy that's in the best interests of Virginians. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.